neonatal nurse at British Hospital found guilty of killing seven babies. London, AP, a neonatal nurse in a British hospital was found guilty of killing seven babies and trying to kill six others. Lucy Letby, 33, was charged with murder in the deaths of five baby boys and two girls, and the attempted murder of five boys and five girls when she worked at the Countess of Chester Hospital in northwest England between 2015 and 2016. She was accused of deliberately harming newborn infants in various ways, including by injecting air into their bloodstreams and administering air or milk into their stomachs via nasogastric tubes. She was also accused of poisoning infants by adding insulin to intravenous feeds and interfering with breathing tubes. A jury of seven women and four men deliberated for 22 days before reaching the verdict. One juror was excused well into deliberations for personal reasons and the judge later gave the remaining 11 jurors the option of reaching a verdict with 10 people in agreement instead of a unanimous decision. Lepi denied all the charges. She was found not guilty on one charge of attempted murder and the jury could not reach a verdict on several others. Some of the verdicts were announced in court earlier in the month, but the judge imposed a ban on reporting them until deliberations were complete. Lepi fought back tears on August 8 as the jury found her guilty of two counts of attempted murder and burst out crying as she left the courtroom. She had more recently declined to be in the courtroom as additional verdicts were announced. Elderly farmer allegedly confesses to Hanover double murder. An 84-year-old man has reportedly confessed to killing his wife and another female senior citizen in Hanover on August 12. The accused, a farmer from Grange District in Hanover, reportedly turned himself into the police and confessed to the double murder after days on the run. It's reported that at about 5 p.m. on August 12, 80-year-old retiree Patsy Allen was found in her Kendall District home by a relative. The family member alerted the Lucy police and Allen was rushed to the hospital, where she was pronounced dead. Two hours later Allen's caregiver, 73-year-old Tekka Anderson Nesbet, was found dead at her home in the Grange District by a relative. She was stabbed in the head. Her husband vanished, however, on August 18. The elderly man turned himself into the Lucy police. After being legally cautioned, he allegedly confessed to the murders of both women, shedding light on the tragic incidents. The police have not shared details of the confession. However, the Jamaica Constabulary Force is reminding the public that domestic disputes can escalate quickly, often with devastating consequences. Domestic violence intervention centers and other professional facilities are available to provide mediation and support. Seek their expertise early to navigate conflict safely and prevent potential violence. There is strength in seeking help, it said. Former Senator Natalie Campbell Rodriguez appointed High Commissioner to Tent. Former Government Senator Natalie Campbell Rodriguez has been announced as Jamaica's new High Commissioner to the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. This was disclosed as Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Kamina Johnson Smith, announced the appointment of four heads of Jamaican missions in a media release on Saturday. Campbell Rodriguez replaces another former senator, Arthur Williams, in Trinidad. Williams has been appointed as ambassador to the People's Republic of China. Campbell Rodriguez, along with Leslie Campbell, resigned from the Senate in May, making way for Prime Minister Andrew Holness to appoint two new senators. The other diplomatic appointments are Marsha Corlovin, as High Commissioner to Canada, and Dr. Richard Brown, as the head of Jamaica's permanent mission to the United Nations and specialized agencies in Geneva. Deepen the engagements and relationships which Jamaica fosters at the bilateral, regional, and multilateral levels. I extend my best wishes and assurance that they carry the full support of my ministry in the conduct of their new responsibilities, Johnson Smith said.